So, <laughs> all right. So this is the um, the study of John Wesley, yeah, um, and he would be. You like to imagine the conversations that happened in this room. Um, just a few little favorite bits and pieces. The painting uh, most likely was painted in this room about a week before he died. We think that this is probably a really good likeness of what he looked like, at, you know, at the end of his life. Um, and it's actually on loan to us from that, the National Portrait Gallery. Um, the chair, just so you know, it's interesting. Can you over? No, please don't. Thank you. The, uh, the chair is uh, an interesting one because there's a desk, uh, like a drawer for papers. And then there's this lovely little delicate drawer here for just sort of a nib of the pen. It's tiny. Um, it's a lovely chair for writing, uh, but it's also a lovely chair for praying. Because what you can do is you can turn around, put your knees here, put your elbows here, put your book here, and it makes a kneeler. So lovely for prayer. And that's what he, how he probably would have used, mm -hmm. he would have used it like that. Certainly. Wow. Certainly. And then um, this funny little machine in the corner here is an electricity machine. Okay. If you remember, this is the 1780s, 1790s. Okay. Do you notice that there are no cables, no cords, no plugs? Yeah. Right. Because this isn't an electric machine that runs on electricity. That's impossible. This is a machine that makes electricity. Think about that. Think about that. This, when you crank the handle, right, mm, makes fr enough friction, yeah? Have you ever zapped yourself on something metal? And you go, ah, ouch, right? Yeah. Okay? Well, this makes something like that. Nice. Probably not a lot more than that. But in the 1780s, 1790s, people were very curious about what electricity could do. What's it for? You're all using it right now because you have batteries on. <laughs> all right. But what can electricity be used for? So one of the questions was, could electricity be used as medicine? Right? Now, today, I mean, it's very unfashionable to talk about electroshock therapy, right? Because that's scary stuff. Right? It's too much, and it's often been used for some not very nice things. Right? But, um, but this is much less, um, and it's at a time period when they didn't know. They were just curious. What could you do with this? Do you mind not sitting on the chair, please? Thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. right. So um, he was using it for a number of things. He actually did use it on himself as medicine. Um, he thought maybe it could cure depression. And he was hopeful of that. But of course, it doesn't work. No, they're fake. I mean, they're, they're real. They are spectacles. <laughs> no, for you. They're not his. <laughs> OK. But they are spectacles. <laughs> the last 10 years of his life, he would have slept in this room. Um, his wife, Molly, never lived in this house. Uh, they separated after just a few months. Oh. All right? um, John Wesley, just for all, just for, you know, he's our hero, he's all these wonderful things, but don't forget he was not perfect. He, he and his wife separated after a few months. They never lived together again. When she died, he didn't know for two weeks. So, so just remember, it was not simple, okay? It's not simple for anyone. Um, one of the things, you know, I mean, if you think about it, they both had very different expectations of this relationship. Um, he was expecting to continue with his mission for God, which meant he was never home. Yes. <laughs> um, he was up every morning at 4 a.m. to pray. <laughs> okay? Um, at the same time, um, she was probably expecting a family. I don't know. Maybe some company. <laughs> um, and I, I do think he was probably fairly tricky to live with. All right. So, um, so just I, I wouldn't say this is to blame anyone. I would say this is to say that 
uh, it's complicated, isn't it, relationships? Mm. If you put together two people, it's already complicated. <laughs> so, so it's just good to remember. Now, 1791, he dies in this room, surrounded by his friends. And his last words in the world were, the best of all is, God is with God us. Is with us. Good. And on the side, when he was dying, he sang, um, he fought to eight. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay, I oh, please, my please, my car. Car. oh, I don't know oh, that. Yes. Okay. yes. Maybe, maybe. Yes. Okay. This wouldn't be the original bed, no. It isn't, actually. No. Sorry. <laughs> um, but every morning when he got up at four in the morning, he came here to pray. Wow. And I uh, say, so this is a very special space. It's considered the, um, I, if anything, it's considered the engine room of Methodism. Um, the prayers that he said every morning at four in the morning were coming from here. Um, and uh, it's a very special place. If you want to come in, if you want to have a prayer, um, the kneeler is actually modern. You can use it. It's okay. <laughs> There's a little prayer there on the mantle if you can't think of one. Right? But you're very welcome. So what are these balls? Oh, do you not know about this? In the old days. What's your toilet, honey? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the, the pool. You wash your hands. Oh. And you use the toilet. Oh, I do. In the morning, you take that outside. Outside. <laughs> it can smell pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> the old days, it smelled well, bad. His shoes. Come and take his shoes and the socks. Uh, I don't know. I Yeah. 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 Thank you very much for waiting on yeah. us. Oh no, it's, no, it's my pleasure. All right. All right. So I'll take you back to the museum, um, and you can take a look at some things there. Thank you. And then, um, and then I'll get the next group for the house. Yeah. Oh, when okay. we go to the graveside and the other yeah, you can do those too. Uh -huh. now, so what's up there? There's just a guest bedroom and a meeting room, but the meeting room is very empty. It's oh, just, um, okay. It's just nothing but a table. Thank you. All right, one, yes. one more lady Just follow the there. chap in the red jacket. Thank you. Where's my man? 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 Where's my
Without who? Wesley and Chapel. Where's the I've got to find mine. I'll go and find one.